In this week's video, I'm going to be talking about my sexual orientation. For a long time, I knew there was something a little bit different about me and the way that I felt, but I never really expressed those feelings or told anybody. My mother is an atheist, and that's the way that me and my sister were raised. But my mother is very judgmental, narcissistic, stubborn and slightly homophobic person, which became very obvious when we moved to a small town when I was nine, which had a church on every corner and Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on our door every weekend. And then when scripture was introduced at our school, uh, the shit hit the fan with my mother. I used to admire the pretty girls at school, all of the popular girls, but I hated them just the same because I got bullied by them. When I was 14, me, my sister and my mum moved to New Zealand. I felt like I could finally be myself because I was away from the bullies in a new country where I felt like I could fully be myself and be a lot more open. But it wasn't until I was 17 when I actually really opened up about my feelings. In 2007, I was at a music festival that used to be annual in the town of Orange, where I live now, and I met a girl. And it was sort of a little bit um, spur of the moment, and I just wanted to test out how it felt because at this point, I'd suppressed the way that I was feeling for so long that I thought, oh, I'm just, curious. I just want to try it because I thought that I was only fantasizing these feelings and it was quite the opposite. It was a spur of the moment and it was for no other reason but to feel it and I felt it and it felt right. Up until this point I had only ever kissed guys but it felt no different to how I felt when I would kiss a guy to how I would feel when I would kiss a girl. And I sort of felt like I was myself at this point. This video isn't necessarily a coming out story because I don't feel like there's anything to come out about. I like girls, but I like guys with equal measure. And I don't really see a difference between the two. I feel that everybody is equal, regardless of who you like and who you don't like. And I think being bullied at school and having a judgmental mother sort of opened my eyes and made me not want to be judgmental. You're still a human being, regardless of who you love and who you feel like you are on the inside. And that's the point of me making this video, just to say that everybody is the same and nobody should be excluded for who they like and who they love. We're all human, we all have this one earth to live on, and we only have this one life to live. So no matter how you live it and who you love, we're all the same, regardless of anything else and regardless of the way you feel and the way you see yourself. If you have your own story that you would like to share, please write it in the comments. And if you just want to say hi, please do so as well. And all of my social media links are in the description. So if you want to send me a message on Instagram, go for it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next week. Bye.